So we're, we're going to make this um, informal. It looks like we're going to have a nice meal. Uh, we're going to leave the microphone open. So if anybody would like to share, you know, fun thoughts or memories with Jordan, um, that would be wonderful. Is that going in and out? Is, is it? Okay. Yeah. I'm pretty loud. Um, so yeah, if, if, uh, if you feel the desire to share a story about Jordan, we'd love to hear it. Um, I, I remember personally the day that uh, Jordan was born. I was uh, I was out at uh, my friend uh, Robbie's house, and uh, I was just sharing this story this morning. And I was only ten, and so I stayed the night at, at my friend's house that night. And he that was like a mini Disneyland for me. They had a pool and birds and all kinds of cool things in their house. Um, and uh, anyways. Uh, I remember my dad came to get me. Jordan, Jordan had been born. Everything went well. I don't really recall having the concept of mom being pregnant with another another brother, but uh, that could be a failing memory. Um, anyways, my dad came and got me, and I remember just thinking in that moment, I gotta go home. I don't get to play anymore. <laughs> That's it. So, like, uh, responsibility set in, and so, anyways, I. Uh, that was a fun memory, and um, I remember as Jordan was growing up, um, because his name was Jordan, and because Michael Jordan was starting to come with oh, yeah. popularity at that time, we called him Air Jordan, <laughs> and, we, and we loved having fun with that, and he loved having fun with that, so uh, that's a memory for me. Um, now, having said all of that, I think we're going to start with a little prayer, if you don't mind. Uh, because it's totally informal, I think all this operates. I think we've got a wonderful slideshow present uh, that we'll, we'll play at some point. We'll, we'll get the lights a bit. But uh, yeah, thanks again, everybody, for coming. We know some of you came from great distances, and we really, really appreciate it as a family. So, all right, let me, uh, let me offer a word of prayer. Our Heavenly Father, we're going to be grateful to be gathered together as family and friends to not the best of circumstances, but we're grateful to be family and friends and to have the support of one another. Um, for our brother Jordan, our son Jordan, our friend Jordan, we're grateful for his life and the kind, gentle heart that he had and the friendships that he built and the impression that he made on people. We ask thee to watch over everyone that is here and uplift them, strengthen their hearts and their souls. Please be with them and watch over them, especially those that have come from great distances, that they will be watched over and protected as they are able to spend time with us and our family and then travel back home to their own families. And we ask a blessing on the food that it will and strengthen and nourish us and lift us up and give us the strength that we need. We ask for these things and anything else that I see is fit for us in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Uh, I, I don't know, we're winging it. Uh, so, yeah, I guess let's do whatever. I don't, I don't know, I feel like a song and dance is sort of inappropriate. I didn't have anything prepared. Um, so, yeah, however, however it's set up, so just, just start. I don't know sign language, so just start. We go over this all the time, they do it in the house. I don't know <laughs>
years and uh, we were we were all a little sad about that and I know that uh, when he went to the airport to leave uh, um, there were lots of tears um, because we were not going to see him for a long time. Um, however the people in Puerto Rico because of COVID had been without missionaries for some time and they had been praying for the missionaries to be able to return and so Although we were really sad to see him leave, there were people far away who were waiting for him to come, and they were so excited um, to see him come. Now, if you'll put that thought aside, I'm going to come back to it in a minute. Um, my husband was telling me a story. Um, he's told it to the boys this week, and, and so I asked his permission to share it, but... Um, on July 2nd, 1986, Jordan was born, and his family was so excited to welcome him. And I know that Jerry, when the nurses finally handed him off to him, uh, took Jordan and escaped, and went to a room and um, sat down and spent time with him. And I can just kind of imagine that conversation about where you've been and who, who we are, and I can, in my mind, picture what that conversation must have been like, and how precious it was. Um, I, I've only known Jordan for the last 21 years, and it's not a big part of our family. Um, and my younger daughter, Becca, will tell you that he was the best big brother that she could ask for. She felt like he was her protector, and he took on that role of a big brother and did a great job with it. And she loves him dearly. Um, anyway, so if I take you back now to my little story. Um, Jordan has now left us and, and moved on, and um, we're all so sad to see him go, but somewhere far away, there are people who are waiting for him. And they are so glad to see him and welcome him and help him work on the next part of his eternal life. And although we will miss him here terribly, um, we love him and 
we send him off wishing him well, and we celebrate the time that we had with him. And I am so grateful to Jerry and to Sandy that they brought that little spirit into the world and that we were able to have that time with him. And um, I uh, want to thank all of my family. I have cousins here, my sister here, her children. I have my best friend since fourth grade here. We grew up in Oregon. My cousins live in Oregon. I have moved back to Oregon. That's where most of my family is. I have a daughter that a lot of you don't know about. Um, she is here with her, with my other grandchildren and her husband. Um, they have been taking care of me the last couple days. Um, I also, when Sherry was telling the story about Jordan being born, I want my friend Marilyn to stand up, please, Marilyn, and not to take away from any of you, but Marilyn was the delivery nurse when Jordan was born in California, and her and her husband have traveled here from California to be with us, and I'm so grateful for them. Um, my daughter was adopted out, and the family that adopted her are absolutely amazing people. They have come here from Oregon to support me and their sister. And my nieces, like I said, are here. My sister is here. Um, Jordan's friends, Justin's friends, um, and people that Jordan worked for that you guys know about, they are here. Um, I am so blessed that all of you were a part of this life. I got to spend the last day with him. And he was amazing. And we all are going to miss him very much. But like Sherry said, he is on a journey to a better place. And I'm not going to be as sad as I thought. Because I know that there are better things for him. And again, thank you all for coming. You have all blessed all of our lives, my children's life, my life his dad's life and I'm grateful for that please enjoy yourself um, anybody who wants to come Jordan's best friend is here he made a lot of these videos his parents are here they used to take Jordan on soccer tournaments when I wasn't home we used to take Ori to the beach with us so there are a very lot of people here that love Jordan very much, and I thank you again for coming and celebrating his life with us. That's my second son. They buddied around together. I know my daughter was terrorized by them. <laughs> they loved it, and they had fun terrorizing her. She even was talking to me before I came about the memories she had about Jordan and Ori just being so mean to her. <laughs> but um, one of my favorite memories of Jordan is, I swear Jordan had an empty leg when it came to eating. <laughs> and he would come to my house and he would start eating. And I was like, you would eat us at a house at home. <laughs> and I remember at the time, my husband and I were barely getting by at the time. And who would buy that budget meat that was sliced really thin? And I'm thinking, okay, I bought enough in the last whole week, and I walk out to the kitchen, and there's Jordan making sandwiches with four of the packages. <laughs> but Jordan, Jordan was a fun kid. He was always fun to have around. And when Sandy would ask me, hey, could you take Jordan or something? I would love to take him because him and Ori just got along so well, and he was never a problem. He is he was such a happy kid. He always was smiling, and they were always joking around.
comes for you, he's not against you. And I said, you're tough. I said, and you can do this. And I said, trust in miracle all the way. And so I'm just saying, there's, there is a life after this life. And if, if you come to really know the Lord, it's a relationship. It's not about religion, it's about relationship. And that's, that's what we come to miss with people, is that relationship, you know. And um, so, every life matters. You know, we have a lot of things going on in this world about just certain people matter, but that's not true. Every single person matters. Never know that. 